So the whole process is actually documented really well on their website. Uh, if you look at the compiling page, you can see all the instructions on how to get the source code and how to use the build system, what uh, the build system is that they're using. They're using scones and also how to compile it, uh, how to compile the source code for Windows and other target platforms. If you've never done anything similar to this, this might look a little bit daunting to you, but uh, we're gonna go through the whole process right here. So you can start compiling your Godot engine from source code. First, we're gonna download our Visual Studio community version. So let's come to the Visual Studio page and you can download Visual Studio 2019 community. So it's free to use, or you can come down here and go to the older downloads if you want 2017, I believe that also works. So uh, just download it and the installer should give you something like this. And there are a bunch of components to pick from. Uh, just don't forget to pick the desktop uh, desktop development with C++ and you should be ready to go. So when that's installing, let's come to our uh, source code page and get the source code of Godot engine. And you can see that here, uh, you can actually get the source code with a git clone or you can also just go to their github page and actually click on code and just download the zip and choosing the correct branches that you want to use and either way you'll be able to get the source code but if you're just getting the zip file from here and you you don't have git installed then you won't be able to pull the latest changes uh, of their latest developments or switch between branches just from your Git interface. So right now we're going to go ahead and download Git so that everything is easier. So just go to the Git page and click on download Windows or any other platform that you're using. We're going to be using Windows here and let's just download that. After the download is finished, you'll be seeing uh, this uh, installer. Just click on next and wherever you want to install your Git and already have it uh have an old folder ready i'm just gonna click on yes and you can pick on you can pick different options like if you want to use um just be able to use git bash and your windows explorer by right clicking i think that's really helpful so let's keep these here and if you want these if you want git in your quick launch or on the desktop feel free to check these and let's just click on next and also next so right here is asking you to choose the default editor used by Git. So like if you have conflicts uh, with merging or you're like uh, diffing files, uh, this will be your default editor that it will bring up. So just pick one that you like. If you don't have experience with Vim, definitely don't choose it. It can be really hard to use, but I'm just gonna choose Vim here for demonstration. So let's just pick that and click on next. This is fine. We can just click on next. And here it's basically asking you if you want to change your path uh, environment variable. So if you pick this, which is recommended, you'll be able to launch Git from your command prompt or uh, PowerShell, something like that, but just by typing Git. Uh, but if you use uh, this option, you'll be able to only use Git from Git bash. So we're gonna use this and click on next, also next, and next again here and this is also fine and this is changing the git pull behavior if you have a preference feel free to change it otherwise we're just going to be using default right here also click on next here also next and then install after that's done let's go back to the source code page and copy this line and now if you go to a folder uh, that you want to pull the source code to and right click in the folder, you should be able to see Git GUI here and Git bash here. So if you click on Git bash here, this will pull up the Git bash window and paste or shift and insert and just enter. That might take a while, but after it's done, you will have your source code here, all of them. And right now you will be on, uh, actually we need to uh, change the directory into Godot. And you can see that here, it will show you that you're on the master branch now. And if you want, you can check out 
few different branches and if you just type git checkout and let's type three point and click on tab it will show you all the branches that uh, starts with three point something so you can switch to something like three point three point two stable you can tap to auto finish and you can just check out two different branches so you can build from different stable uh, versions of Godot now we have the source code we can build it so let's go back to the build system page and you can see that it's using scones to build the Godot engine and to do that we will need to download scones but first we will need to download Python and actually if we go back to the compiling for Windows page it will tell you that you'll need Python 3.5 Plus, so any version above Python 3.5 and Scones 3.0. And if you're using Visual Studio 2019, you will need at least 3.1.1. So just keep that in mind. Now let's download Python first. Let's go to the Python page and we can just download Python 3.9.5. That is totally fine. After that's done, just click on the installer. And you can just click on install now uh, unless you have something that you really want to change uh, you can use customize uh, customize installation uh, but one thing uh, to note here is that don't forget to add python 3.9 to path so that you can just directly launch python uh, from your command line or powershell anywhere uh, in your system and just click on install once that's done let's just close it and let's go back to your godot engine folder and if you're over Windows 10, I believe you should be able to hold shift and right click on your folder. And this will bring up the open PowerShell window here option. And you click that, it'll open a new PowerShell window. And right now, if you type in Python, it should bring up Python 3.9.5 uh, console for you. But if you don't have PowerShell, you can also launch your command prompt from your startup menu. You can type in cmd or command prompt and that will bring up this window and you can do the same thing type in python and if you had the python uh, that you just installed added to your path environment, uh, environment variable then this will work it will just you should be able to type in python from anywhere and it will bring up the python console for you now that we have python we need to install scones so we can build our engine uh, so you can come here to Scones uh, download page and actually you can see that uh, Windows installer uh, is no longer provided uh, by the Scones project. So we recommend using pip install or you can just download the zip file and just run the setup.py file with your uh, Python. But what we're going to do here is let's go back to our command prompt or our shell and exit and actually when you are installing python you actually uh, also installed uh, the pip package so we can just type in pip install and scones and this will install uh this should install the latest scones version so as you can see 4.1.0.post1 uh, python 3 uh, which is the file uh, which is the version uh, listed here and just by doing that, you install scones. Now let's go back to the compiling for Windows page and we're gonna start compiling uh, our Godot engine from our source code. So let's come down here and it'll tell you, yeah, to set up scones. And down here in the compiling section, it will show you all the stuff that you need to know to compile your source code. So we're gonna be running scones like this scones platform equals to windows and you can also specify the cpu core that you wanted to use so higher will be faster so now we're going to bring back up our powershell again and make sure you are inside your godot engine source code folder otherwise it wouldn't be able to find the correct uh, source code to to build so let's just type in scones j4 i'll be using four cores right here and also platform windows 
And depending on how powerful your CPU is, uh, this could take a while. Just wait for it to finish. After that's done, if you go back to your engine source code folder, you should be able to see the binary folder. And inside the binary folder is your compiled Godot engine executable. If you double click on it, it will just like uh, you getting the executable from other sources, you will be able to launch it and it has the editor and tools and everything. So now you can already go ahead and change some of the source code in the folder and uh, see them take effect and also just compiling uh, your own version of Godot engine and run that. But if you want to run uh, and edit Godot engine source code and the whole project from Visual Studio, we still need to do one more thing. So let's go back here to the compiling for Windows page and scroll down here a little bit. It will show you how to achieve development with Visual Studio or other IDEs. So if we want to create a Visual Studio solution vs Gones, we can run this command. So let's bring back up our PowerShell and let's run scones. And you can also put in here uh, the number of threads you want to use. Uh, I said cores before, uh, but actually it wasn't actually cores, it was more specifically threads. So you can use four threads, six threads, eight threads. Actually, I will use eight threads here and platform equals Windows and VS Visual Studio project equals yes. And let's just let it run. This one should be quicker. And after it's done, go back to your source code uh, folder and go down here. You should see a new Godot a VS solution here along with the projects and project filters and stuff. So now you can double click on it and it should bring up the Visual Studio version that you have and you can launch uh, you can edit the code from there and also build the code directly from Visual Studio. Now, there's just one last thing that we need to do here. So right now, uh, if we go back to the uh, compiling for Windows page and all the way down. So we don't actually currently have the export templates. So you can just copy the commands from here depending on the target platforms you want to use. and paste it in also add in the threads number of threads that you want to use if you would like to speed up the process a little bit after that's done let's actually go ahead and launch our Godot engine from Visual Studio so if you come down here and just double click on Godot.solution and after that you should be able to open your Godot project and see it in your Visual Studio you can see all the source files here, the header files, all the different modules, and you can edit from here and compile your project, uh, your Godot engine through Visual Studio. Uh, we're gonna be using x64 and release debug here. And you, just, you can just click on build and build solution to build the engine. Once the build is done, you can click over here and launch the engine. After that, you should be able to see Godot Engine has launched correctly. And you can just start from here and new project or import a project, anything like that, and start working as usual. And that's it for this video. Hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.